Women have several types of orgasms, and squirting is the one that satisfies them the most. Have you ever tried to make your woman squirt like a water fountain? My friend Harry actually did. He tried several times to make his wife squirt, but each time he failed. According to him, he did everything right, hit the right spots, used perfect techniques in the right positions to get her so aroused that they both felt like she was about to squirt. But each time, it didn't work. He never managed to make her squirt. Why was that? Well, Harry did a lot of things right, but there were still many things required to make his woman squirt. If you don't want to fail like Harry, watch this video to the end. I'll tell you a few tried and tested techniques that you can use to make your woman squirt, even if she rarely orgasms or if you don't last long enough. Ask her to pee. The ejaculated fluid woman releases during squirting, apparently looks watery, just like urine. But is that really the urine water? Nah. It is neither the milky orgasm nor the urine, but something secreted by the skein glands in the deep tissue of the clitoris. The truth is that a woman who actually manages to squirt urinates just before sex in order to empty her bladder. Because if the bladder is filled with urine, it will interfere with squirting. Just like the first wrong thing that happened to Harry's girl, who felt the urge to urinate just as she was about to squirt. This happens because when you prepare your lady to squirt, you stimulate all her sensory organs, including the urethral opening from where she pees. So the first step is to ask your woman to urinate before you both get intimate with each other. This will make it easier for her to squirt. She may still feel like she's about to urinate, but you need to tell her not to hold back the urine. Because when her bladder is empty, what she will release won't be urine, but the squirting orgasm. Find her G-spot. You know, most of the pubic hair is present just above the vagina, right? That's exactly where the pubic bone is located. Just behind the pubic bone, you will find the periurethral glands, or the female prostate. The area around these glands is the deep tissue of the clitoris, and therefore this area is particularly sensitive. Even if you press on the front of the pubic bone, it feels fantastic. But if you want to make your woman squirt, you need to go deeper. Deep inside her vagina, near the periurethral glands, you'll find her G-spot. To touch it, you can insert your fingers about five centimeters deep along the upper wall of the vagina towards her belly. Since it's part of the clitoral tissue, it will feel different, super sensitive. But just like the ridges on your palate feel, arouse her to be ready for squirting. A woman needs to be much more aroused, sexually charged, and have breathtaking energy in her body. Therefore, you should first spend enough time using your tongue from her lips to the back of her ears, neck, breasts, lower abdomen, inner thighs, down to her toes. But don't go near her main part yet. This would be the first round, which will make her crave you touching and stimulating her down there. In the second round, Turn your attention to the main part and kiss her vulva, clitoris, and the sides of her vagina. This clitoral stimulation will arouse her, and the rapid blood flow will make her genital area engorge. When you feel her aroused, moaning, and desperate for you to penetrate, use your fingers. First one, then two, and then three if you feel like it. Consistently hit the upper part of her vaginal canal and the sensitive tissue of the clitoris where you find her G-spot. Twist and turn your fingers inside her, increasing the speed slightly as you bend the end of your fingers upwards and hit the G-spot. But remember, you're not allowed to use your penis yet. If you do all this, she will literally pull you over and put your thing inside her. When that moment arrives, it's finally time to show off you magic. Hit the G-spot. Now you should first give her a few usual strokes and then start hitting the G-spot by angling upwards. Start with gentle, slow and steady strokes and gradually increase the speed. Make circles, use back and forth motions and whatever technique you love. 
to hit the main area consistently. The skein glands, which are located around the female prostate or G-spot, will begin to secrete fluid from the intense stimulation. You will notice that the urethral sponge, or the anterior area below the pubic bone, will begin to engorge, soften and swell. This would be the indication that she is building up for squirting. If you notice that her arousal is increasing, you can make your movements faster and faster and with more pressure. Occasionally, you can also stimulate the clitoris with your thumb while stroking her G-spot. By now, she should be highly aroused, her body primed for an intense release. At this moment, you have to be careful not to behave like Harry. He made the mistake of slowing down because he wasn't keeping a steady rhythm and pace, which caused her wife to lose sensation. Remember that quick, short, and above all, even thrusts are urgently needed here. Don't hesitate to apply firm pressure. Most women find this deeply pleasurable at this stage. If she shows signs of discomfort, check in with her and adjust accordingly. In general, however, she'll crave strong, focused stimulation to reach that climactic release. Use the Kunyaza or Kachabali technique. Another way to make your woman squirt is the Kunyaza or Kachabali technique. With this method, you can rhythmically and specifically stimulate her clitoris with your erect penis by holding it between your index finger and thumb. By gently stroking the tip of the penis against the clitoris in alternating movements upwards, downwards, from side to side, and even in a Zorro-like zigzag pattern, the clitoral nerves are stimulated in a highly stimulating and pleasurable way. The special thing about Kunyaza is the unique mixture of minimal penetration and rhythmic movements from the outside. This dynamic approach stimulates the sensitive areas without penetrating deeply, so that the focus remains on the clitoral tissue. Many women report that the first moments of penetration are among their favorite moments. Kunyaza takes advantage of this by drawing attention to the clitoris. This often leads to heightened arousal and overwhelming pleasure, sometimes to the point where they crave and scream for more. And when she screams for more, you need to increase your strokes more and more, and it will lead to an explosive, squirting orgasm. Ask her to release it. One fact about women's ejaculation that you should never forget is that they can experience G-spot orgasms without squirting, and they can also squirt without reaching orgasm. However, if you want to make her squirt, you need to make sure she experiences the incredible mix of both sensations at the same time. She may feel an overwhelming urge to urinate, but reassure her that this is a normal part of the process. Encourage her not to fight the feeling, but to accept it and let go, releasing whatever it is. If you notice her tensing or contracting her muscles, gently remind her to relax and push outwards to allow her body to release fully. Don't stop. Don't make this big mistake. When she starts to orgasm and squirt, stay with her. Don't slow down the rhythmic movements. Don't take your hands away. Don't stop stimulating her clitoris. Keep going and take her even deeper to her climax. Most men become hypersensitive after ejaculation, but that's not the case with a woman's G-spot. They always want it more, even with more force and speed. So you need to stay connected to her and keep going until she asks you to stop. When she achieves the squirting orgasm, she loves it like she's on the moon. Last long. If you're afraid you won't last long enough to make her squirt, listen carefully. This happens to a lot of men, and it's the reason why 30% of women report that they don't orgasm during penetrative sex, let alone squirting. The partners of these 30% of women are making a big mistake. They focus entirely on intercourse and completely disregard foreplay and clitoral stimulation. You need to understand that the clitoris is not just the small outer part. It extends into the body and forms sensitive parts of the vaginal walls. 
And if you don't focus on this super sensitive part and stimulate its deeper tissues with rhythmic upward movements, no matter how long you last, you won't be able to bring your woman to orgasm, let alone squirting. If you master the clitoris technique, not only will you increase your partner's pleasure, but you can also bring her to orgasm and squirt, even if you don't last long enough. Go ahead and triple the pleasure of your intimate moments with your lady. This is going to be a lifelong, unforgettable experience for both of you. And by the way, I'll be forwarding this video to my friend Harry so that he too can finally fulfill this eagerly awaited dream.